Now you can also customize the look of your interface here. Say for example you want your toolbars, which is a toolbars in here, you want to make it floating. Whenever you see this, uh, these two lines there, you just say you can reposition or relocate the toolbar or the menu or whatever. So you just go closer to that one and if you go closer then you see the move icon Okay, it becomes visible. It means so you can drag and drag it inside the graphics area. So click and then drag. Now you got floating toolbars now. Now it's the same thing with the color palettes here. If I click here and click and drag, now I have floating palettes like that. And the same thing here. If I click on the property bar, let's say I move this over this side. And I move this property bar over here. Okay, now it's a floating property bar now. And uh, yeah, so you can also close that if you want to. Or now, say for example, you want to go back to the original one, right? So you can click here and then just go move to the right side. And there, it snaps back. I'll do it the same way here. It snaps back. Now my property bar there, uh, I accidentally closed the property bar. So how would I uh, call that back? See? So now in here, if I go to, if I go to Windows and click on Toolbars here, this the property bar is unchecked. Okay? So if I click on Check, uh, if I check the property bar, now my property bar is is now visible. So what I'll do, I'll move this over back to the original state which is in here there now I have my property bar again so it's really up to you to customize your 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 icons and your toolbars